My name is Tim Palazzolo with Gap Racing out of Houston, Texas, and this is our 67 uh, Chevrolet Camaro that we named Karma. We unveiled here at the Royal Purple Booth the uh, 2017 SEMA show, um, and it's basically modeled after a new ZL1 Camaro. Um, basically, we try to overlap uh, a 67 and a 2017-2018 Camaro and, and keep the uh, originality of a 67, but give all the modern conveniences of a 2017-2018 ZL1. Um, features a Chevrolet Performance uh, LT4 crate engine, um, it has air conditioning, uh, bowler's manual transmission, the car sits on a roadster shop, full chassis, uh, one of their spec chassis, so it's complete bolt-in chassis, uh, bare, big bare brakes that um, they went ahead and put the 67 ZL1 logo in the caliper for us, uh, HRE wheels, Michelin Pilot Sport tires, um, you know, the list goes on and on about all the people that ha have helped us, you know, um, Alumacraft came up with a custom grill for us, uh, they cnc the grill that has the stylings of a new Camaro. Uh, and got rid of the, the square the rectangular shape of the 67 Camaro. So it kind of modernized the front of the car without changing it too much. Uh, we took the original hood from the car and cut the skin of it off and welded it to the bottom of the, of the hood so that you have a smooth look on the bottom of the hood without seeing all the hood bracing. We wanted to just kind of give it a clean look without going too crazy with it uh, and still keep part of the original car. It kind of gives it that, that neat look. Uh, a lot of carbon fiber. We did carbon fiber inserts on the firewall, carbon fiber wheel wells, um, carbon fiber coil covers, carbon on the insert. Try to keep a lot of the carbon to the in engine bay of the car just to give it a little modern touch, not date the car too much so that 10 years from now, the car still looks like a, a decent new car. Um, a lot of modern things we did to the car. Welded the trim in around the windshield, did a flush mount glass on it, um, tucked the bumpers in real tight, um, added some late model mirrors that have turn signals in them, they're auto folding, they have uh, lights when you hit the unlock button, the lights shine on the ground like a modern car. Uh, they're all electronic, so it's all controlled through an iPad. And there is not a single switch inside the car. The windows, the convertible top, the lights, the radio, everything is controlled through the iPad. The iPad controls everything. And we use a, a, a product called Ride Controller to control all that for us. Um, we can take a look inside the car. We had Evod make a, a steering wheel that, that had the flare of the 67, a lot of the uh, styling of 67, but the, the shape and the styling of a, a modern car also try to incorporate those two. So a one-off billet steering wheel, uh, a gauge cluster that the shape mimics the new Camaro, but it still fits in the factory uh, location and a factory gauge can bolt into it. And then Dakota Digital came through, made us a set of gauges, the uh, HDX gauges that use a new Camaro console and we can, um, you know, the gauges communicate each other. So those gauges actually are gauges for those, uh, they're, they're at replacement gauges. Uh, all modern, it's got a boost gauge built into it. Uh, really simple plug and play thing they made for us to where you plug it in the OBD2 port and it reads um, temperature, oil pressure, boost, everything's read through all that stuff. So I mean they've, did, they, they've really come a long way and, and made our job a lot easier. Um, as far as the interior wise, Cato from Cato's Custom Upholstery uh, and Aaron, they, they came through and you know I kind of had a, I had a rendering but they just knocked it out of the park. Uh, we used Recaro seats, they made a flat floor and then just covered everything in Relicate leather. The door panels they built to resemble the new Camaro, they used bits and pieces of a new Camaro door panel. Uh, it still has the deluxe interior handle. They did the white striping inside the seats to give it that deluxe interior look. And then the convertible top boot was a big part of it. The older cars were so big and puffy, it looked like a big pillow back here. And the new Camaros are so low profile and modern, so they, they spent a lot of time, hours, building this rear cover uh, and making it very low profile to fit the car and kind of tuck in the pinch weld. So I think this just you know kind of made it. Um, and then we went through and a lot of the felts and fuzzies on the car and the trim, we had it all Cerakoted by AccuCoat. Um, AccuCoat does a lot of coatings for us. They coated the vent windows. So it really gave us a, a, a really clean, modern look without having to change and rethink the, the, the car itself. So um, back here in the back, the rear spoiler is a, a replication of the original spoiler, but it's all steel. So we built this all out of steel. Um, it just fits a lot better to the deck lid. The factory spoiler kind of sits up kind of goofy and they're not perfect and we wanted this perfect look. We also, uh, the owner of the car, I drew up some custom taillights that resembled the 2014 Z28 and he made those taillights for us then we recessed them in. And we also recessed the Camaro lettering in on the back of the car, tucked the rear bumper in and then also did some ZL1 style tips on the back, uh, made a little recess for those and then kind of tucked the license plate in just a little bit just to give it a little bit of a modern touch without losing the fact that it's still a 67 Camaro. Uh, you know, we got a call from Royal Purple and they, they were looking for an unveil car and, um, you know, Tim Strange did the unveil for us and, I mean, what better place to be? Royal Purple has a, a great booth, they have a great following. 
Um, they have a great product. You know, th their customer service is, is, is top notch. Uh, the support is there. You know, everything in this car, every fluid is roll purple. The filter's roll purple. The coolant additive is roll purple. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're always the one that has that car, the big unveil in their booth. So having the opportunity to be that car uh, was just a, an honor for us. So it's, it was a really big deal for us. And, and we're, we're truly humbled and honored to, to be here to uh, unveil this car. And, you know, the owner had, hadn't seen the car. And so that was a difficult thing too, is we were building this car for him and, and for him to keep writing that check every week and, and not see the car. I mean, that's, that's gotta be, I couldn't even imagine, but um, we'd send him little bits and pieces here of the, un, of the car and, you know, little, a shot of the mirror and, and, and just to, you know, poke at him a little bit. Uh, but the first time he actually got to see the completed car since been painted, since, you know, weeks before paint uh, was here at the show and, and uh, his reaction was priceless. I mean, that made the whole, the whole thing worth it. So I think we're ready to pull the cover off of this thing, and then we're going to do a walk around with Tim, and then he'll tell you about all the little intri all the little fine details. That was a big word for me to try. So uh, I'm going to get out of the way, and uh, off comes the cover, the brand new unveiling of the Gap Racing Camaro.